Surprising, shocking, too close to home. Just a few of the terms Ahmed Mustafa uses to describe his feelings about this note. You see it going on in other countries and stuff like that, but lately it's like it's hitting closer and closer to home. The note refers to him as a Muslim Iranian and reads, learn how to park. This isn't Baghdad, bud. Can't just tie up your camel anywhere over here. Adapt or go back, Abdul. Mustafa is a 27-year-old Muslim man who was born in Kuwait but grew up in Canada. He moved here when he was two. What did these guys think? What did they say when they, you showed them? They said the laugh that they didn't know how to spell Muslim. <laughs> Irani and Baghdad, two different countries, cities, I don't know. Jokes aside, days after a deadly shooting at a mosque in Quebec City, this is the last thing Mustafa wanted to find. I would be lying if I said that I felt safe because now you see it so close, like, you know, it's right in my neighborhood. Mustafa has filed a police report. He hopes his complaint is taken seriously. Speaking out is his way of fighting back. I'm just trying to raise awareness so that, you know, people don't get away with it. Edmonton police say they're in the early stages of their investigation, so they haven't determined whether this is a criminal act. Even if it is not classified a hate crime, this local because criminology instructor Edmonton says it is still wise for people to report the these kinds of incidents. Absolutely. I mean, awareness is key. Uh, anytime you don't have an idea around the number of hate incidents that are going on in any given city, whether it's Edmonton or Calgary, uh, it almost sweeps the issue under the rug. Chaudhry is one of several panelists taking part in a public discussion about Islamophobia and racism at McEwen University, a topic he calls timely. We're not saying that it's any worse than it's been before, but it's more prevalent in terms of our awareness because we're able to see it now more so. And I think global incidences do impact our reactions and our responses. Nicole Weisberg, CTV News, Edmonton.